Now we're told that the teacher ran another Sudoku competition and got the following quartiles. And we're asked to see what type of skewness is involved. Is it positive? Is it going to be negative skewness? Well, we can tell quite easily by relating this back to a box and whisker plot. Do you remember that if you've got a box plot and we had our quartiles, this would be the lower quartile Q1. The upper quartile here, Q3, would have our whiskers out the sides here. And we know that Q1 is 8.5. We know that Q3 is 21. The question is, where is Q2 in this? Well, it's closer to Q1. It's, say, about here. Let's just mark it in, Q2 at 13. We can compare these widths. You can see that the width here is much smaller than the width here, and this would suggest positive skew. But if we need to put some working down, what I'm going to do is say Q2 minus Q1 equals 13 minus 8.5, and that comes to 4.5. Whereas if we work out the other width, Q3 minus Q2, that's going to be 21 minus 13, and that comes to 8. So we can see that since the width Q3 minus Q2 is greater than the width Q2 minus Q1, then this gives us what we call positive skew. If this width was smaller than this width, then it would be negative skew when you've got other examples. But in this case, you've got positive skew. Your distribution would also look a bit like this, with the tail out towards the positive sense. So, hope that's given you some idea then how you can go about this question.